hello guys in this tutorial i will show you guys how i was able to achieve the design you saw on the thumbnail so let's get right into it at first i created an adjustment layer right there i pick the solid color then i give it the black color 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 just like so and i hit the ok button created a new layer to achieve this let me let me turn off this for a while now and you create a new layer this new layer icon right here then you pick your brush to right there let me turn on this layer so i can sample the color with your alt key selected you click on the color to select the color let me reduce the brush size a little bit so let's turn on this so the color code is um 5d 7d b5 so you come to right about the center of the canvas and strike once this once when you switch back to your move to then with ctrl t you transform it and scale it up a little just like so so that was how i was able to achieve that let's just delete this because we already have that turn this on yeah then i gave it a curve adjustment layer with the same adjustment um, icon you click on it and select the curve let me double click to show you guys the settings so i drag down the um, the curve adjustment layer just like so and then i duplicated this um layer right here this layer one right here i duplicated it and then um, let me show you guys what i did so you have it here ctrl j to duplicate yeah. just select this and ctrl j to duplicate and drag it above the curve adjustment layer and ctrl t to scale it down hold down your shift key and you scale it down just like that yeah just like that and that was how i was able to achieve that so let's delete this and continue so let's turn this on yeah and that was how i was able to achieve that then i created this shadow effect which I also achieved with the use of uh, uh, by creating a new layer and selecting my brush to I strike I strike once and then okay let me show you guys what I did where you have a layer I select my brush to you know pick the black color here it's okay make sure your foreground is a black color yeah. just like so so you strike once and pick your pick your move to and control t and just holding down your shift key you scale it down just like so drag it up i'm gonna show you guys yeah and that was how i was able to achieve that I just undo that and then let's move on then i duplicated the effect just to make it more obvious like so i duplicated it two more times and i put my um pepsi png from my, my background just like so then 
to create this um, like a reflection effect let me turn this off real quick yes. with the Pepsi uh, PNG selected Ctrl J to duplicate and you drag this beneath the other one then you Ctrl T to enter the transform mode right click on them flip vertical and drag this downward just like so you turn the enter key then you give it a layer max right here the layer max and you pick your gradient to gradient to right here make sure this option is this this option is checked you pick from black to transparent right here is very one here click on the ok button and then you pull down your shift key and click to drag over it just like so click and drag and then i think increase the opacity to around 100 percent click and drag just like so so that was how I was able to achieve that. Let's just undo that and move on. So after that, I created this um, effect right there. To do that, I created a new layer just as i've been doing before just just i keep maxed it into uh the png image just the way i did the shadow effect let me just do it yes create a new layer let me move out of this create a new layer then you pick your brush to you make sure you select your foreground here is set to white and click once just like so pick your move to ctrl T and just scale this down just like so And place this just beside just at the edge of the uh, Pepsi PNG then you clip max it into the Pepsi PNG just hold down your alt key and you bring your mouse close to the uh, close between the new layer and uh, the Pepsi PNG and you clip max it just right there and that was how I was able to do that then for the other side right here i duplicated this and i place it right to the other side here and then let's just move on so that was how i was able to achieve that then i moved on to this which i was able to achieve with the use of um the cover adjustment layer also Create a cover adjustment layer. Let's increase this group. Come down to your adjustment layer and click on the curve. Then you drag this down. Just like so. Well, I already did that. Let me just show you guys what I have here. So you drag it down just to somewhere around there and you click on the OK button. So you make sure this layer here is selected. Then you click Ctrl I on your keyboard to reverse the max. 
and make sure this max here is selected and you select your brush to just reduce the size a little bit just for the shadow parts uh, so you make sure your foreground here is changed to white then you bring back the shadow just like so and for the highlights also did the same thing Come, I came down to the adjustment layer selected curve but this time I make sure I just drag the curve towards the upper side and I click on the OK button and then make sure this is also selected Control I to reverse the max and select this and pick your brush tool also make sure the foreground is set to white and you paint over the side you want the highlight to to be just like so and that was how I was able to achieve that but let's just continue because I already did that so yeah that was how I was able to achieve this then I please embedded this image from my background from my from my file it down a little bit just like so then you right click to rasterize rasterize the layer now with your polygonal lasso to you crop out the ice cube from the background just like so just like so you can go click on ctrl x to cut that out then you can delete this layer and to back down and you paste control V to paste and after pasting you select your magic wand to and click on the white background then give it a layer max right there and control I to reverse your max just like so so that was how I was able to get the ice cube from the background then I placed with your layer max selected you can pick your brush to make sure your foreground is set to black and you brush over the sharp edges right here just to get a clean cut out just like so so that was how I was able to achieve that and just delete this and yeah So I duplicated the um, ice cube. I placed one right here and the other one right here. Then I gave it a curve adjustment layer, just like so. To give the curve adjustment layer, you come down to your adjustment panel right there. Then you select your curve and give it this setting right here. Drag down the curve just like so just to get the base effect right there then after that I imported this image from my background from my from my gallery just like so and then 
I place embedded this image also. Let me show you guys what I have from the beginning. Yeah. As you can see, this is how the image was. There's this sharp edges showing right there. So I have to give it a layer max. To give the layer max, you come right here, give the layer max, you pick your brush to you make sure your foreground here is set to black, then you brush over the sharp edges just to fit it in. Just like so. And then I imported this image also. And I I set the blend mode to I set the blend mode of this image, this very first one, to screen. So I set the blend mode to screen. Then I imported this second image. And I set the blend mode to color dodge. Just like so. And then that is it. And I place my text right there. And that was how I was able to achieve these guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.